providing a unique double view for visitors and residents. We uh, opened up Karan Mahal for select and um, discern tourists and travelers to Kashmir. He provides space to tourists to live like a true royal. Allow people to have the same experience from such a unique location in Kashmir. Music India A list proudly recognizes Martin Singh for excellence in PR and business management. Hello and welcome, I'm Udaya Pratap Singh. You're joining us on this special interview as part of our NewsX A-List series. We're in conversation today with Martin Singh. Martin is PR head for Karan Meher Srinagar. Martin, welcome to the show. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure to be here with you, Uday. Uh, let me just start out by just talking to you about Karan Meher Srinagar. What, what led to the decision being taken by uh, your family to open it up for tourists visiting Jammu and Kashmir? So, Uday, we uh, opened up Karan Mahal for select and um, discern tourists and travelers to Kashmir about a year ago. Um, it's a very unique property. It's been the royal residence of my great, uh, great grandfather and my grandfather. And um, it's, it's a heritage property. We have about eight guest rooms and um, it's, I think we to do justice to the place and um, allow people to have the same experience from such a unique location in Kashmir. Uh, that would probably be one of the main reasons for opening it up. Okay. Uh, what do you believe, you know, sets it apart from, from other properties in the region? You know, what do you believe is the USP of uh, Karan Mahal? And also just tell us a bit about the history of this uh, property, Martin, for our viewers. So let me start with the USP. That's a good question. Uh, you know, when our guests enter Karan Mahal, mm -hmm. the first thing they do is they run to the front lawns, which is overlooking the private orchard and the estate and the forest. And after that, the lake, the dull lake yeah. and the Zabarwan uh, snow capped mountain range. Mm -hmm. So the first thing they do is they go there and they start taking pictures and videos and FaceTiming their family members to show where they are. So I think the main USP would be the unmatched location the property has in the valley. Yeah. Um, coming to the history, it was built for my grandfather, Maharaja Dr. Karan Singh Ji. Um, he moved there when he was four years old. It was built by his father, Maharaja Hari Singh Ji. Mm -hmm. uh, and then he grew up there okay. as a child. His entire childhood was spent there. Uh, subsequently, he became uh, he was crown prince of JNK erstwhile JNK princely state. Uh, thereafter, he became head of state and governor. Uh, subsequently, he was cabinet minister in Mrs. Prime Minister Indira Gandhi's cabinet, and um, he's had a illustrious career as many would know in public life and in public service. So that was his residence and he conducted all his activities from there. We've had many distinguished visitors, including heads of state of the Soviet Union, um, many uh, illustrious personalities of our country as well have visited and stayed with him there. Um, and also coming to the property itself, yeah. uh, it, has a lot of heritage elements as well. In a way, it is a testament to uh, Kashmir's uh, arts and crafts and all the famous things it is known for, from the carpets to the handcrafted wooden ceilings. Yeah. The It has a European element as well with the Art Deco furniture. Okay. Um, and also all the rooms are very unique. Mm -hmm. Each room has its own uh, special traits. Mm -hmm. uh, there's some suites opening up to balconies and verandas, private gardens. So it is it is a very unique property within Kashmir itself. Mm -hmm. And as you know, Kashmir has a lot of fabulous properties. No doubt. Uh, and also just talking to, of course, arts and crafts is something that, of course, uh, you know, Dr. Karan Singh has patronized to his, uh, you know, career as well. Uh, but just talking about the cuisine of, of the property as well, have you opened it up firstly for, for lunches and dinners as well for guests? 
or is it just for for your uh, you know people staying on the property and what's the kind of cuisine also uh, that you offer so as i said in the start the property is um it's a small property it is eight guest rooms including three lavish suites mm-hmm. um we uh, make sure our guests have their privacy therefore we are only open for resident guests okay uh, the resident staying itself in the property and not really open to um outsiders in a way other hotels would be mm-hmm. so ensuring that our guests have their privacy mm-hmm. um coming to the cuisine so this is something that the the family personally looks into especially my mother yuvrani chitranga raje uh, we have dogra cuisine which is a jammu cuisine okay we have kashmiri cuisine which is popularly known as wazwan mm-hmm. as you have tried as well i know and um, we also have nepalese cuisine mm-hmm. which is part of our family lineage as well uh, so and this is these are all sort of uh, dishes which have been made by the family and taught to our cooks and our chefs in the kitchen okay so yes uh, the food would be a big usp at karan mahal as well okay um, just talking now about your involvement uh, with with karan mahal shinagar uh, uh, you know when did you decide to get involved and and have you always had an interest uh, in hospitality and in pr so other my parents have been in hospitality for quite some time now um the property karan mahal itself was opened a year ago it's only been our first year that we have been open for resident guests but the entire process of restoring the property which was built in the 1920s was about a 5 to 6 year process uh, you know it, it has a lot of heritage elements so we had to ensure that these um elements were you know kept alive and restored that took a lot of time uh the entire family was involved from my parents to my sister and um me as well uh but currently uh i especially look into the entire social media aspect okay along with my sister as well mm-hmm. uh we focus on uh sort of projecting the property on instagram especially because i mean this entire year especially with the entire onset of covid yeah uh, we've sort of majorly focused on social media mm-hmm. so we have a website okay. we are on facebook as well but our sort of entire marketing is focused on social media and word of mouth as well okay uh, just of course talking now very quickly about uh, uh, the covid year now now you know we've heard of property shutting down but you of course set set up shop you know in this covid pandemic year so how's it been like for you was that Uh, a bit more challenging have you been uh, mainly uh, focusing on on domestic or uh, market right now of course domestic travelers and are you also hopeful once the restrictions are eased that a lot of foreign tourists return um, to india and hopefully to shrinagar as well so like all the other industries in the country and in the world as you know tourism has been very adversely affected yeah by covid um however apart from the the four to six months that um the first wave and the second wave of covid was on uh those months we were of course very badly affected mm-hmm. because there was no traveling happening in the country and air travel was shut yeah but apart from those months for example before may 2021 so march april 2021 and then subsequently after the decline of the second wave which was july onwards yeah. we have seen a big footfall of tourists okay uh, kashmir region within the state has seen about 2.4 lakhs wow. i believe upwards of 2.4 lakh uh, tourists coming into kashmir region up to september 2021 so i think in a way domestic travel yeah. in the months that covid was on a uh downfall yeah. has seen a bit of a boost okay um yes it was a, a big challenge to be opening up in these years mm-hmm. um in a way we took it on as a trial year okay first year okay. and um 
we it's like i said it's a family run property yeah it is still the royal residence of the family mm -hmm. uh, so it it in a way it's it's running our home okay so even for resident guests yeah. they are essentially coming into our private home and yes. having the same experience we have been having no doubt and of course uh, homes uh, never shut down despite any pandemic okay we're almost out of time now uh, but just very quickly before we close uh, you know since of course you've grown up in this region just tell us about you know uh, the vast attractions in jnk um, that hopefully people will discover uh, after watching this interview and, and visiting uh, you know the union territory very soon so as you know jammu and kashmir is a huge state over there it's it's contains multiple regions within the state as well but focusing on kashmir region for now um firstly i'd like to say once you're in karan mahal you will have a very tough time uh getting out of the property because there is more than enough uh to do within karan mahal uh, we have our orchards we have our forest mm -hmm. it, it's all part of the state um you know you're in the lap of nature and beauty within srinagar city itself uh, the views are breathtaking you're surrounded by mountains and the lake mm -hmm. but um you also have within the city you have many uh, tourist attractions which in fact the state government is doing putting in big efforts to get that out in the country um kashmir itself i think within the tourism industry does not require too much uh, selling so to say mm -hmm. Uh, everyone knows where kashmir is and yeah. what place is about mm -hmm. uh, but the attractions which are say the mogul gardens mm -hmm. the tulip gardens mm -hmm. the dal lake nagin lake mm -hmm. uh, srinagar city itself the jhelum river they are all within i'd say 20 minutes to half an hour of karan mahal okay. so these attractions are very close by the popular tourist destinations of gulmarg and pelgam and sonmarg are about 2 hours away mm -hmm. from karan mahal itself mm -hmm. and also what i have noticed in the past year or two is a lot of um tourists and visitors who are interested in trekking mm -hmm. so trekking has sort of yeah. revived itself in okay. a way um especially in the areas of pelgam and sonmarg okay well so there's a lot uh, to see of course in the region uh, but as you said the first big challenge is to actually get out of the property because there's so much to do yes. on the property itself and the beautiful views well looking uh, um, of course forward to your property uh, doing doing much better as you said of course after this trial year is over and when uh, foreign travel resumes but for the time being thank you so much martin for joining us and wishing you and the entire karan mahal team all the very best thank you so much uday and hope to see you at karan mahal very soon For more such videos subscribe to the Newsx YouTube channel hit the bell icon